feel like I've said it all week, but I'm just so proud of myself. And I knew coming into this that I could, I could swim it, and to have been able to do it on the last day, I think just seeing how well Team GB did tonight, seeing Cassie, my teammate, swim so well, and then seeing the boys before me, um, it's really just it lit a fire under me tonight, and I knew that I could do it. Um, but then, sorry, yeah. But then seeing um, the relay swim so well as well, it's just Great Britain has just been doing so well at this meet. Um, they've really stepped up coming into this and exceeded expectations no matter where they are in their programs back home and uh, it's really promising for the summer. I just, I, I was part way through my swim down, I'd gotten out so that I could go and do the victory ceremony and then as I was getting, I was putting my tracksuit on, Steve, um, he came up to me and said, it's going to be re-swam. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh. I, I, I was like disappointed in the minute, but he, he pretty much picked me up and was like, you did this last night, you can do it again. And I just followed the same process that I had done the night before for the 100 and the mixed medley. And I was able to go back out and pretty much do exactly the same time, which I mean, it's really impressed me how consistent I've been here. Um, but yeah, I knew going into that second race, it'd be more of a mental, race rather than a physical one and I just knew that I needed to accept that that was what was going to happen and I needed to tell myself that I wanted to do it and in that way I'd have a leg up on everyone already. I'm just really confident in myself going into the Olympics now I'm, I'm, I'm up there with the rest of them and it's not exactly like I'm tapered coming into this this last week of I've been rested, but I was nowhere near tapered as I was going into trials. So it's been, it's been a really good meet in terms of just racing, just getting out there and doing what I can.